Hello everyone, this is the 12cad.com team, that's 12cad.com. Uh, today we're going to start off our series of uh, tutorials for PCB, Printed Circuit Board Design. Um, we chose to use Eagle uh, PCB software by CADsoft. This uh, software is uh, very widely used by the do-it-yourself community. It is, there is a free version which has everything we most people need. Um, and there's a lot of libraries out there by multiple different vendors, um, other people who create modules so you can use in your PCB design. So we highly recommend it. And however, we'd like to say that you can use this tutorial for any PCB software. Um, it's just that we chose Eagle PCB. So today we're going to um, teach you the control panel, how it works, how to create a project, how to end, insert your own modules, you insert your own libraries into Eagle PCB. Um, we will um, use sparkfun.com libraries because um, they have a very wide range of components you can use. Um, we will show you how to activate a library and lastly we'll show you how to create a brand new schematic. So to start off I've opened Eagle PCB here. I'm using a Mac, um, but PC Windows versions also do exist and they're very similar. So here you can see the control panel. We have libraries, design rules, um, language program, script, jobs, and projects. The most concerning ones are libraries and projects. So to create a new project, you just double click and you see there's two folders here. Um, we will create a new pro we um, you can create a new project but we, I've already done one here you can see 12cad.com tutorial and you can do this by going to file new project and entering in the information however we will stick with the one I've already created for simplicity um, now that's to create the project where your schematics will be held um, just a central location a folder per se but now we need to figure out how to insert libraries. Uh, Sparkfun.com is one of the most, um, I really recommend it for buying components, buying boards for your projects. Uh, they have a library which you can import into Eagle and it has components which you can use to create your own PCB to be manufactured. It's very convenient. I, will, I have a link down at the bottom. Um, YouTube video for you to go download that. So to get that into your um, uh, library, you need to first, you can see here that I already have it in here, but the way I did it was you know, go to options, directories, and you can see here your libraries directory is in your ego directory and then LBR. Now this is a similar for Windows, so you need to find your ego directory, which it actually is in your applications folder in your Mac or your C drive for example um, app program files in your Windows and you can see there's the app and here's the LBR so here you you um, download the libraries wherever you get them from and just insert them here and this library for example has a lot of spark fun components you have capacitors you have their boards you have their analog components a massive amount of um, components to use so once you do that uh, restart Eagle, but since I've already done that, you can see the folder here. Now, Eagle PCB comes with a variety of third-party elements as well. For example, DigiKey, Element 14, these are different companies like SparkFun. Um, but I prefer to use SparkFun because it's um, very well done. I have tried to use the other libraries, but they're just not to my standard. So, what I usually do is once I um, put the Eagle library in here, I take all the other uh, components um, .lbr files and stick them in a folder called Others. So you can see here multitude of co um, companies like AVR, Agilent, um, various companies that have their own libraries. I am not interested in using this. You may be, but I'm not. So what I do is I right click here and I go use none, as in use none none of the components in your so it doesn't clutter the schematic you can do use all so you can have access to all the components but I would just pick use none and I do the same for all of them you can see use none and you can see use none but for the spark fun one I will use them all as you can see they're all green now so that means they are selected to be used in this schematic 
Now, so that was how to activate the library. Now we are ready because we have created a project. We can now create a schematic. Um, in general, a schematic is the the breadboard type representation of your circuit. Um, it is recommended that before you start creating schematics, you test your circuit on a breadboard or however you like to do that. And once you've done that, you need to take the breadboard layout and the components, resistors, I integrated circuits, um, whatever capacitors, and put that into a circuit form on a schematic and make the necessary electrical connections. So to get into that, to create a schematic, you'll go to File, New, Schematic. And you can see now that we have a screen, a black screen for our schematic. And so this was a tutorial just explaining how to set up Eagle, how to get a schematic um, up and running and um, in a project. So in the next tutorial, we will go uh, into detail on um, all the options in Eagle so you can create your first uh, printed circuit board. Thank you. Please visit uh, 12cad12cad.com for the uh, detailed tutorials with images and uh, corresponding links. Thank you.